name is Lila and I'm the naturalist here and I wanted to tell you about this beautiful plant. It has a few common names. One is a uh, mimosa or powder puff, also called sunshine mimosa, also called touch me nots. It's a beautiful ground cover that is native here in Florida. So one of the things that makes this very special um, is that when you touch it, it closes. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate here. Right now it is a kind of fern-like leaf and when you touch it, when it's disturbed, it starts to close. And that's pretty unique and it's so fun to share with children because most of us see plants as not reactive to us and not, uh, they do not, thinking that they don't interact with us in the, in the physical way that we would imagine like people or animals do, but they absolutely are interacting with their environment. They are taking cues from the changes in the atmosphere, in the sunshine, and in the physical world as things um, approach them. It's good for pollinators such as our bees and our butterflies and there are other pollinators that are less well known such as the beetles and ants and there are many that um, contribute to the ecosystem here. It's beneficial to the creatures who live here but it actually is a nitrogen fixer so it makes the soil um, better suited for other plants to grow and um, it is it requires almost no watering on your part as a homeowner or as the property owner of a space um, because it is a native and it is used to however much water it would get normally in a given year. The mimosa plant grows very easily here in Florida since it is a native. It actually will grow easier than sod or any kind of grass that you might purchase to cover a, an outdoor space or a lawn. So if you buy from a local nursery a handful of um, potted mimosa plants and um, just allow them to, to grow naturally. It'll take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth the effort because you'll be replacing a high maintenance plant.